Generating more electricity from the photons harvested from the sun is critical. It is the optimum way to drive down energy cost and be able to reach renewable portfolio standards. Concentrator Photovoltaic Technology, CPV, by its very design, is focused on achieving this goal. It does this through higher efficiency, reliable performance, and scalability. CPV is being deployed globally today, and by the end of 2012, we would expect CPV deployments to be approaching half a gigawatt. We recently had the opportunity to interview SolFocus CTO and co-founder Steve Horn, where he shared his perspective on the state of technology and commercialization in the CPV sector. Why is CPV technology ready for commercial deployment? Over the last few years, uh, a number of companies have invested a lot of money in building the, the, the plants that go to uh, building the panels, and they've succeeded. Uh, Sol Focus is amongst them. We, we have a plant that can build a panel every three minutes, and we've shown that it's very possible. The plant's been running for about a year now. We have um, significant installations now out there from this manufacturing plant that proves that we're commercially ready. Tell us about the PV cells used in CPV systems. When we started the company, there were three companies building high performance cells, three, five cells. And they were targeted on the orbital market, the space market. Now, five years later, there are 25 young companies, and some of them are actually established companies with new divisions. And fabrication costs are going to go down as these cells are put on high volume lines that are normally being used for you know, light emitting diodes or, or, or the photonics industry. Um, and so I expect efficiencies to rise and I expect costs to drop. 250x, 500x, 1000x. Is higher better? There's going to be a trend to go higher in concentration. Uh, I quite frankly don't believe it's going to go much above 1,500 suns. I expect then over time for concentration to drop again as cells, the, the high performance cells, really start hitting high volume and their costs come down. What is the future of CPV technology? To start with, with a concentration in our case of something like 650 to 1, we have a very small area of actual cell material in each of our panels. And uh, the, the major, the major uh, cell supplier in the world right now um, actually has a fairly moderately sized fabrication line, um, smaller than what you'd see at most, uh, just about every commercial sized foundry in the world. Given that these cells are headed towards those big foundries, I don't see a problem with sub cell supply at all in the future. How do you assure 25 year field life the second large thread of work that's been done in Sol Focus was to look at the reliability of the plant, of the, of the equipment that we're building. So that started during design, where we were able to borrow techniques and borrow materials from industries that, uh, that have shown longevity. For example, the adhesives we use are also used in the skyscraper industry, where windows are now stuck to aluminium frames and have to last 25 years in very harsh environments. So we made choices on materials and techniques to maximize the reliability of the product. Secondly, we, we've then uh, instituted a very aggressive and long-lived um, accelerated test program. And thirdly, uh, we have a lot of test installations. For, for some time now, we've been able to verify the results of the highly accelerated test conditions against two years or almost three years worth of operation and correlate the results we've shown uh, to the best current knowledge of modern science that the degradation rates on our modules are, are way within what's needed to last 25 years. What is certification in the CPV industry? The certifications are uh, in some sense an entrance ticket to the market. They are an indication that you have produced a product to a certain level of robustness that you have a company with enough, um, uh, enough discipline to produce a, a well-manufactured product and you've got a supply chain that can produce it and you've been through the tests with, uh, with an independent company and they've said, 
yeah, after a certain set of rigorous conditions, the product still, uh, the product still performs well. Now, the reason I say it's an entrance ticket is that uh, there's, there's not a great correlation between that and a 25-year lifetime. There absolutely is the first verifiable quantitative step on the way to, produce, to proving that you have 25 years lifetime. And it's done by a third party organization. CTV, concentrating photovoltaic technology, capturing more photoelectrons from the sun for maximum power delivery. This is the first time in history uh, when there has been significant interest shown in the environmental catastrophe occurring on this planet. This is the first time in human history when some of that interest is being shown by capital markets. And it's also the first time really in history when technology exists with the manufacturing resources behind it to actually be able to make a difference. So these three things have come together only in the last 10 or 12 years. And while we have had a solar industry and while we have had a wind industry for many, many years, it's been waiting for this point in time to, to really take off exponentially.